Yes, so good morning, everybody, and welcome to the fifth uh, Café Talk, Rubismo Café Talk, which is a, a bonus Café Talk, we can say, uh, and we will keep on going until June, at least. The, the talk, the, the cycle is about uh, carbon neutral uh, farming this month. And uh, so we'll have the first presentation today from Camille and, and Bruna uh, about what is carbon neutrality in agriculture. Then in two weeks, uh, we will present with my colleague Ula um, the, the fossil free energy solutions in agriculture. And my colleague Tura will uh, conclude with uh, a presentation on biochar. And next week, we have a longer uh, virtual study visit. We'll go to, to Ireland and Poland. So I hope you, you will join us. Um, and yeah, we will visit Dunhill Eco Park and also Barrett's Valley in Poland, uh, focusing, if I don't mistake, more on the bio-based value chain. Mm. So it will be interesting uh, presentation. Uh, the chat is av available for questions, so feel free to, to ask them uh, or raise your hand, uh, your hand at the end of the presentation and we can have a discussion. So. With no more introduction, I give the floor to Camille and Bruna for the presentation. Okay, so let's go. Uh, so we will talk on uh, carbon neutrality and uh, a small focus on uh, agriculture today. Uh, so to begin, uh, just a first point about uh, what is greenhouse gas emission. Uh, you all know this graph that um, now we are increasing the number of uh, carbon or greenhouse gas uh, in the in the atmosphere, so uh, a major risk of uh, global warming. So we say 1.5 degrees, but it can be really more, like four or six, uh, depending on the different scenario you have. So we really have to act uh, and to change our practices uh, to reduce climate change. Um, so industry is beginning to, to move, uh, but uh, we also have, we can also have a very major impact uh, of global warming uh, on the food industry. So for example, there is some study who said like uh, the estimated price uh, of milk can, can increase of uh, 20 euros per, per ton uh, because of uh, you need to change your practices, you need to change uh, your info, your building your infrastructure so a lot of adaptation need uh, with uh, less um, equipment um, there is also for example a change uh, you know like flowering it changing the date the date of flowering so um, you will have um, how to say um, a difference between uh, the date uh, of flowering and the date of uh, the presence of uh, bugs, for example, so of pollinization. Um, so a major <laughs> problem for all the, the trees, the fruit trees, or uh, another point can be uh, the problem of uh, availability of water resources, uh, which is a major point of climate change. Um, in the same time, uh, we begin a bit to move not so much, but we begin. Um, so, you know, all the, the Paris or the other agreements about climate. Uh, there is already 60 countries engaged in carbon neutrality, but not for today, uh, for like in 30, uh, in 30 years. So, um, it's uh, like uh, yeah, it's not for today, uh, but uh, it's a beginning, and for that, we have to change. Uh, regulation, we have to change, to change practices. Um, and the, it's not only countries uh, we are moving, it's also consumers. Uh, so there is a strike for climate. Uh, we had one in Paris like uh, last week and we were like uh, more like um, 100,000 people on the streets um, for, for the strike for climate. Uh, there is also company moving, so there is a um, civil society is really asking to change uh, and to reduce greenhouse gas emission. 
And in the same time, you can see a lot of companies saying, okay, we will be carbon neutral. Uh, we are focusing on that um, for 2020, 2030, uh, 25, depending. Uh, but you can also see uh, many uh, declaration, uh, for example, to say, okay, this company is saying uh, I am carbon neutral, but this is not the case because blah, 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 blah. Um, so now we'll talk of what is carbon neutrality and why some people are saying we are neutral, but not at all. Uh, so carbon neutrality, it's the definition of the Intergovernmental Panel of Climate Change. Um, they say that uh, carbon neutrality, it's you have the same uh, entrance of carbon than the same storage. Um, so the definition is not maybe clear, so I can show you a kind of uh, of a uh, draw. Um, here you have carbon emission, here you have carbon sink, uh, because we, we already have carbon sink. A forest is a, carbon, it's a, a carbon sink, for example. So neutrality, it's, uh, we have the same emissions than uh, sink. So we have like um, here uh, a kind of neutrality. So we, we, uh, today we are here, really too much carbon emission and not so much carbon sinks, and we want uh, to, uh, to reach its balance. For that, uh, we have to reduce our emission and to increase carbon sinks. And these two points are very important because reduction is really the first step. So how we can manage uh, to achieve carbon neutrality? Uh, the first point is to measure, uh, mainly if you are a company, but uh, everybody can more or less do that. It's to know where is your impact and try to change your practice, your practices uh, on this impact. So you can do a diagnosis. Uh, after you have to reduce, and this is the main point, uh, we just cannot regenerate, uh, like a plant tree uh, regenerate. Uh, we cannot do only that. We really have to reduce 80%, uh, for example, of our emission and after we can work on the regeneration. So we will see that now. Uh, so how I can measure first step, this first step. Um, so uh, the global concept, it's always the same. Uh, to measure your carbon impact, uh, you have to analyze your consumption and add an emission factor. And with that, uh, you will have your carbon impact. Um, generally, you have three scope. Scope one and two, uh, it's emission you are producing on your site. And scope two is electricity you are consuming. Uh, so this, this is energy in your site. And scope three, it's how I can work on all my value chain. So some companies say, okay, I will be neutral in my activities. So it's only on scope one and two. So it's good, but it's not so much. And some are saying, okay, I will be neutral in all my value chain. And sometimes you have like, a, I don't know, 100 um, carbon impact of difference uh, between both. Uh, so for example, if a food industry say, okay, I will be neutral in all my value chain, it, it will work with its farmer, with, with its farmer to be neutral. Um, it will work on all services, on all waste, uh, and not only in its sites. Up. Um, after that, we have to reduce our consumption. Um, so we have to consume less and consume better uh, and try to develop renewable energy so you can work on your processes. You can work on energy uh, to have green energy. You can uh, try to have renewable renewable energy. So all the step, uh, it's the most important things. And after the last point, it's to develop carbon sinks. Um, so atmosphere, it's a carbon sink, but we now we are putting too much carbon or other greenhouse gas in the atmosphere. And we want to put more in plant and soils and in ocean. I will not talk about uh, carbon technology storage uh, because for the moment, it's like a not a, very active. Um, so carbon is already uh, stored in ocean, plants, or atmosphere. Uh, in a forest, you have a kind of balance. Uh, you have carbon stored, and you have uh, a forest. It's also a source of carbon. And now we want to try to develop this part and not this part. 
to change a bit the balance and store more, more carbon. And this is the last point of regeneration. Um, so for that, we can try uh, like to, if you are a company, if you want to regenerate, uh, you can work with your value chain to develop renewable energy, to try to limit uh, the production of um, greenhouse gas of your consumers or for suppliers, but you can also work on agroforestry, reforestation, this kind of projects. And for that, you have two different options. Uh, you can just buy uh, credits to brokers. So you say, okay, I want to, part to, to, to be part of a project in a forest and you pay and that's all. But you can also try to work on the value chain and talk with your suppliers and say, okay, I want to help you to reduce uh, your emission. I will work with you. Uh, I will pay for that and I will pay you and not a broker and other stakeholders. Uh, so you can understand and we really prefer this kind of uh, implication in the value chain. Uh, what does that mean for agriculture, for example? Um, so carbon neutrality, you can be more or less, uh, we will talk after why you cannot say I'm carbon neutral, but uh, you can work for that uh, in, a, in a farm. So you can reduce uh, your greenhouse gas emission, for example, working on your practices, uh, producing uh, renewable energy, reducing your fuel consumption, but you can also store carbon uh, in trees, um, in, um, in your building, uh, using, for example, uh, biomass insulation. Uh, you can work on your soil to store more to store more carbon in soils uh, you can have biomass um, so all that stuff it's uh, contributing to carbon neutrality so how agriculture can work on that uh, this is a kind of um, comparison of different practices so in uh, blue you have um, agriculture practices uh, in um, in yellow, it's uh, uh, greenhouse gas uh, emission practices, and um, uh, in the purple, it's like kind of eco act. Uh, so, for example, you can see that uh, intensive agroforestry, I mean, with a lot of trees, can have a very good impact, and it's we we have more impact with agroforestry than with a vegetarian diet, for example. Uh, here you have a flight from Paris from Marseille. Uh, you can kind of balance that uh, we look at, uh, with one hectare of uh, soil cover uh, with permanent grass. Uh, so you can see that uh, with uh, different practices in agriculture, we can already store a lot of carbon uh, and so manage um, uh, have in a positive impact of climate change. Um, and for that, in uh, many different countries in Europe or in the world, uh, we develop uh, labelization uh, to say, okay, these practices uh, have a positive impact of climate change and is storing uh, carbon. Uh, so you can pay for that. So, uh, for example, in France, uh, the mail, La Poste, the mail company, uh, or uh, the Olymp Olympic Games of Paris are paying uh, label by carbon, so low carbon label. Um, to um, to buy uh, French carbon credits and work with forestry or agriculture to uh, store carbon in France. But there is the same concept uh, in quite a lot of countries in Europe. And just a small point, so how to communicate uh, about this subject. Uh, there is a lot of company who say, okay, uh, we are carbon neutral, no, you are not carbon neutral. If you see the, the definition, uh, carbon neutrality, it's uh, at the territory or the global uh, scale. Um, so you contribute uh, to carbon neutrality, uh, but you are not carbon neutral yourself because there is too much impact on your value chain and you cannot say, I am carbon neutral. Um, and same thing, don't say I'm compensating my emission say I'm contributing to the neutrality, uh, carbon neutrality, uh, just uh, to not do so much greenwashing. If you say I'm compensating, it just 
you are buying some credits uh, to say, okay, I am planting your tree and it's okay, but the tree uh, will grow in uh, 50 years, for example, and you, you are emitting now emissions. So for example, there is this difference of time. Uh, there is many different arguments of why you cannot just say compensate, but time is, for example, one of, the, uh, one of them. The other point is say, okay, no problem. We will plant trees and there is no global warming, no problem. Uh, so we did this kind of uh, calcul. So we say, okay, uh, for French emission just in our territory, uh, what do we have to do? So we have to plant trees in France, but in all the territory of France and in all the territory of UK. So there is no city, nothing. You just have to plant trees on all these both territories. And after that, you can say, okay, we are not well. So you, you can see that it's impossible to just plant trees and say uh, we will not have any problem because there is not enough place uh, in Earth for that. Uh, the other point, um, it's about reduction. Uh, this is um, the different scenarios of uh, climate change. Um, and you can see that there is no scenario where there is uh, here, I, I, I will start again. Uh, here it's uh, all the emission uh, we are producing now. And here it's the best scenario where we have to go. Um, and in yellow, I think it's uh, like a, a, how would say storage. Uh, but uh, human storage, not natural storage of carbon. And there is no scenario uh, with, um, where there is no reduction. The most important part, the gray, the gray part, has to be reduced. And we cannot just store uh, yellow and uh, brown parts, but uh, we really have to reduce our emission. Um, and after all, there is some problem of vocabulary in some companies. So for example, there is companies saying, okay, we'll have a neutral plane, but no, because they are not taking into account all the production chain uh, of the plane, not all the um, uh, greenhouse gas emission from the, um, the cloud, the, the white cloud. Uh, after when you see a plane, there is this uh, cloud. Uh, you cannot, uh, this, emit and contribute contribute to global warming so they are not taking that into account for example or some people say okay we are uh, contributing we because we develop renewable energy but sometimes renewable energy is not uh, generally it's not zero carbon and sometimes that can emit more that uh, than other energy so be careful when we communicate uh, about that that's it uh, for carbon Neutrality.